اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم مدد يا رجال الله عينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نحظى بفضل الله مدد ما شيخنا الكرام في الطريقة النقش البنديات العالية مدد سيد الشطان أولي سيد شيخ عبد الله الفائز الدغستاني سلطان أولي سيد الشيخ محمد ناظم عادل الحقاني سيد الشيخ محمد عادل الرباني We are asking support because we are not we can't claim that we know anything nor can we claim that we are uh, teachers or scholars it's not uh, in our ability to claim such please have him sit up please please see no no please 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 Then, then we, we we have him sit in uh, one of those rooms. It's okay. So we can move this. I know what's happening. See. Allah, Allah, Allah. So our teachers taught us to ask for support for imdad. We ask madad from Ahlillah, from Mashayikh, from real men of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala who are. Connected to Sayyidina Muhammad. That's why when we start each and every one of our gatherings, we say, Madad ya Rijal Allah. Madad ya Awliya Allah. A'inuna bi'aunillah. We are saying, Ya Rabbi, we are only sitting here by permission of our teacher, our Shaykh, and we are making our rabita with them. We are connecting ourselves and our hearts to them. And we are asking them for support. And this is what the suhba is, the gatherings. To be with Ahlul Dhikr is to be muttasil, is to be connected. And according to the gatherings and according under whose name it is held. This is a Naqshbandi, a tariqa, khatm al khawajagan, dhikrullah. Our teachers are connected to Sayyidina Muhammad through Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi wa Sahibi wa Sallam through Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiyallahu anhu wa arda. The silsila goes all the way to Sayyidina Abu Bakr. And this is something that is now that flavor, that taste, that suhba. This is something that is rarer than rare to be actually in a majlis where you feel connected to awliyaullah who are reflecting the prophetic light is not something that is easily easily found nowadays alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala connected us with maulana sheikh nazim and after him with maulana sheikh muhammad it is our privilege to call upon them every time we sit down and ask them for support. Today, there's been a couple of instances where people have messaged me or asking me, and more than a few. They're basically, one person was asking if he can join Tariqa because he wants to have visions, he wants to see. Another, person messaged me one time and he's asking are taking psychedelic drugs now they're making a big thing you know in in societies and people are thinking even muslims even people we know are even messaging and saying is it okay they're saying that uh, you get to experience reality and so forth and this religion in the beginning in Surah Al-Baqarah says وَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ عَوْذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ شَيْطَانَ رَجِيمٍ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ أَلِفْ لَامِّيمٍ ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهُ هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ 
الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون الذين يؤمنون بالغيب In the beginning those who believe in the unseen the unseen this is islam we take our religion from al masum he saw sallallahu alaihi wasallam he went to qaba qawsayni aw adna salawat rabbi wa sallam alayhi he traversed the seventh heavens on isra and miraj he salawat rabbi wa sallam alayhi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him from whatever he wants to show him from the unseen and what we know of the unseen is through Sayyidina Muhammad not anywhere else and the story of people who ask to see in the Quran don't end, end up with happy endings the nations that said to Sayyidina Muhammad to, to their prophets show us what you're talking about. The naqa of Sayyidina Salih or the miracles that were shown. What happened to the people afterwards? They didn't believe. Punishment came down. Even Sayyidina Isa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in, in uh, Surah Al-Ma'idah, when Sayyidina Ithqal al-Hawariyuna, Ya Isa ibn Maryam, when they came to Sayyidina Isa, the story of uh, the Ma'idah. Ma'idah is the table, the table spread. That's the meaning. Is that when, when Prophet Muhammad, saw, when Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, told his Hawari, his students, his, muri, his followers, his Sahaba, told him that fast for 30 days and I will, and then ask Allah what you need, what you want. After 30 days, Allah will grant you. They fasted for 30 days. Afterwards, this, uh, these verses, they asked him, هَلْ يَسْتَطِيعُ رَبُّكَ أَنْ يُنَزِّلَ عَلَيْنَا مَائِدَةً مِنَ السَّمَاءِ They asked him, would your Lord bring on us a table spread from heavens? After 30 days. Sayyidina Isa was astonished with this request. He says, اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ هَفْ تَقْوَى how can you ask such a thing? Then they explained, they said, we want to eat from it and it will be Eid for us. Uh, we want to eat from it and we know that you have told us the truth. And we will be witnessing on it. Then Sayyidina Isa said, okay. he asked. Ibn Maryam, اللهم ربنا أنزل علينا مائدة من السماء تكون لنا عيدا لأولنا وآخرنا وآية منك وارزقنا وأنت خير الرازقين He asked Allah سبحانه وتعالى to bring it and Allah سبحانه وتعالى is answer so إني منزلها قال الله إني منزلها عليكم فمن يكفر بعد منكم فَإِنِّي أُعَذِّبُهُ عَذَابًا لَا أُعَذِّبُهُ أَحَدًا مِنَ الْعَالَمِينَ He said, Allah, okay, I will bring you the, I will show you the miracles. And angels in Ibn Kathir, uh, Tafsir and others, so They say that angels brought a table spread. Some, some say meat, some say fish and, and bread. And everybody ate, not just the Hawari, all Bani Israel who witnessed, they ate from it, from that table spread. But what Allah say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if anyone after seeing this miracle denies, I will torment them in a way I have not tormented any other of my creation. And he said also, it is said in the Tafsir that the three groups of people that will be tormented most are munafiqeen the hypocrites uh, the qawm of Fir'aun Pharaoh's people and if they recant the third group if they, if they fall back 
on what they promised. Most severe punishment because what because they saw. So this is not our way. Where do you read in the hadith people coming to Prophet show me وسلم, from the believers, from the sahaba? What did Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq? In kana qalu, qalahu, faqad sadaq. When they came to him and said, Your sahib is saying to us that he went in Isra in one night and came back. He said, If he said it, he is telling the truth. Iman bil ghayb, taslim, complete submission. Not asking to see, not asking to. Uh, there is a saying in Tasawwuf, Al Multafit la yasil. The one who looks around will never reach. If you're in this way for seeing and for experiencing and for visions and for dreams, you are in the wrong way. Because in Naqshbandi Tariqa is Tariqa to Tajrid is the tariqah of stripping away anything that will make your nafs to see itself. If you saw visions before tariqah, you're going to stop seeing them after you come. <laughs> that's, that's why, because we, the shaykhs, they don't want to give hadl in nafs. They don't want to give your nafs a share. To say, oh, I'm now witnessing, I'm seeing visions, I'm seeing, no, no. It's unfortunate that even Muslims now are asking if drugs are okay to see. To see what? That's one aspect. The other aspect is you have many people claiming to be gatekeepers of the unseen. To sitting and saying, you come to me, I will show you. You will see this and you will witness that and you will hear this secret and you will open for you this. Well, this is not you. Ilahi anta maqsoodi wa ridaqa matloobi. We, our mission in this world is to be abid. That is the greatest honor for us, to be abid. Sayyid al-Mursaleen, the one who used to say, abitu anda rabbi yuta'imuni wa yusqeen. I stay. When, they, when he was fasting night after night after night, and the Sahaba said, okay, connecting the fast. The Sahaba said, okay, we'll go, we'll fast with you. And he said, I'm not like you. <laughs> That's the one who say he's like us. <laughs> he says, I, I am guest to my Lord in his presence. He feeds me. And he... Uh, gives me to drink. He doesn't need to eat Prophet ﷺ, but, but look at his humility. In another hadith, he says, Innama ana abdun. When, when the Sahabi came in front of him and he was shaking like a leaf from his grandeur, from his hayba, from his majesty, وسلم, he says, Innama ana abdun. I am a servant. I sit like the Abid sit and I eat like the Abid eat. This is our way. Calm down. Do your duty. Do, do what Allah is asking you. You find people nowadays and, and may Allah forgive us and forgive everyone. They're busy with things that Allah did not ask of them. And the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has obliged for us, we're, we're not doing. In meditation, uh, this, that, all kinds of practices, alhamdulillah. And we're not even doing our uh, wajib, our furud on time. They want to see. This is not... Uh, uh, يعني, it's Akhir Zaman now. And many Dajjals are going, are going to come. The, the, this whole thing is not new. al Batiniya. Batiniya, they came a group in history that they also claim that uh, 
the outer is no, of no importance. They stopped the prayer. They used to, to belittle and laugh at people who actually pray. And for them, it was the meditation and the visions and the experiences. So we have groups like that in the history of Islam. But why you want to do that? Yeah. If you if you love Allah, if you seek Allah, if you want Allah, love, follow me. Follow the Ma'asum. He was praying till the last last breath. Even in the last breath, he was looked at his sahaba and he saw them praying and he smiled. And even Sayyid Aisha in one of the narrations, say Allah, the, the last words that he uttered, Allah Allah, Allah Allah for salah means I, I enjoin you, I advise you, don't leave, hold on to the salah, to his companions. And we leave that. We leave that. And we follow this, this understanding and that understanding. And Allah knows what they're bringing now. From where? No. Stay with the best way, the perfect way. He, Sayyidina Muhammad... Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a Sirat al Mustaqim. He is a Sirat al Mustaqim. Everything about him it will take you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you follow. And this is not something we bring. This is from uh, if you if you read uh, Al Shifa, Ta'rif Hawq al Mustafa, in the beginning he makes this statement. And this is from Sayyid Ibn Abbas, Allah anhu arda. And many others, they said, some said that Sirat al-Mustaqim is Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi said that Sirat al-Mustaqim is Prophet and his Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar and, and his, uh, they are the Sirat. That's why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Hold on. Even with your teeth, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Won't go left and right. Some some guy, even they get, wear the garb, even they dress with the dress and they sit. From our Prophet ﷺ described people from our they look like us and they speak with our tongue, even some, but they have nothing to do with the teaching of Prophet. ﷺ. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. This is Akhir Zaman. This is the end of times now. This is the time of fitan. Fitan taj'alu al-halima hayran, or kama qala al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That the halim, the one with forbearance and with, with patience, will become lost and confused. This is this age Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was talking about. The age of confusion, the age of fitna. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Grant us understanding. Grant us to be steadfast. And may Allah save us from the charlatans of this age, the Dajajil of this age, that are coming with all kinds of things other than what Hadi of Sayyidina Muhammad saw. Our way is Sayyidina Muhammad saw. Our way is the way of our teachers, Mashaykh, which is the way of Sayyidina Muhammad saw. May Allah forgive us. And grant us, inshallah, on this holy night, safety, and keep us guided until our last breath. Wa min Allahi tawfiq. Bi hurmati al-Habib, bi hurmati al-Fatiha.